New at six flu cases in Wisconsin were so low this past season. Health officials say it was a season that just didn't happen. Mary Jo Olas talked with health leaders about the dramatic change and what it could mean for all of us in the future. When TMJ4 News visited Children's Wisconsin in January 2020, they had just seen a record number of hospital visits during the flu season. We never got to the point of feeling overwhelmed. Uh, we had to expand the number of ICU beds. This last flu season was a drastically different story. Dr. Michael Meyer is the medical director of pediatric ICU here. In pediatrics, winter is our busiest season when it comes to viral infections. Uh, this past year, uh, the pandemic, uh, we have seen almost nothing. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services reports, despite doing more testing, that trend was seen across the state. For comparison's sakes, last year we had about 35,000 cases of influenza that were confirmed. This year we have 81. Health professionals believe social distancing, hand washing, and mask wearing played a big role. DHS thinks the flu vaccine was also a good match, but there were so few flu cases, it's difficult to say for sure. Looking ahead, Dr. Meyer says healthcare professionals are already preparing for winter, knowing that the mandates and restrictions communities had won't be in place. It's very reasonable to think that we are going to have a very significant influenza season. Right before the pandemic, Alicia Petway then two-month-old Nevea had to be airlifted to Children's Wisconsin with a severe case of a respiratory infection called RSV. During that time, I was really scared. I thought that my child was going to pass away because she had ended up to be intubated and sedated due to having the RSV. It was very bad. Um, she was intubated for two to three weeks and I couldn't even hold her. Today, Nevea is feeling better and her mom says she is sassy as ever. Alicia stresses that while the pandemic may be easing up, it's critical people continue to practice good hygiene and stay away when they're not feeling well. I never expected it to happen to my child, so I want everybody to take the precautions that they need to. We've learned some very valuable lessons um, that we need to continue implementing for the overall health and safety of our children. Mary Joel, the TMJ4 News.